This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2016 R1. This presentation will deal with the new command Parametric Sketcher. Parametric Sketcher is a new geometry creation tool. That's for defining parametric and fixed geometry definitions. This isn't to create parametric geometries, that's still what constraints would do. But what you will do within the parametric sketcher is basically define geometries and you can also define profiles as well and you can do these in a parametric way with parametric definitions and we'll see that as we obviously look at the demonstration. We have many different geometry creation types and when we pick one of these the system will then prompt us for the information and the information that we provide can either be a mi either be fixed sizes parametric sizes or a mixture of both depending upon the type of component that you want to define we can also specify panel faces so if you're working on for example a door you're able to pick horizontal faces for machining of locks or hinges for example we get the option to define user layers, Z levels and tool directions which makes it really powerful tool for creating the geometries to then apply the machining styles to. The creation or editing of the parametric sketches requires an active maintenance contract. Once the parametric sketches are actually defined you will always be able to run them within AlphaCam whether on support or not. So let's have a look at the parametric sketch demonstration within AlphaCam. The parametric sketcher is a new command, so if the buttons aren't already on your ribbon, then we'll need to add them. So I'm going to right click on the button and go to customize ribbon. And we can see in our list here of new commands, not in ribbon, we have our parametric sketch commands. So it makes sense to me for this to go onto the geometry tab. So I'm going to create a new group under geometry and I'm going to rename it parametric sketcher. and then I shall add my buttons to it and I'm going to also move this up next to the 2D geometry creation tools so here we have it in the middle of the screen if we click the parametric sketcher button this takes us into the interface which allows us to create new and modify existing parametric sketches if all I want to do is run an existing one then I can click this option here and just change the parameters and then click run and it will obviously give me my geometries created. I'm just going to go into parametric sketcher now and this takes us into the interface. We can see that we have our option of obviously going new to remove anything existing already. We can go load to load an existing one. Once we have created something new or edited something we can save it links to the help file and then options for working with variables. If we have a common set of variables that we work with we can export them and then import them into a new one. We have here some default parameters. If I wanted to change one of these I can simply double click in here and enter in a new value or I'm able to click on it and go edit variable and then type in a new value as well. What we also have in the interface are the options for creating the work planes, options for creating geometries and for creating a user layer, geometry Z levels and tool directions. Here we have the view window and we can select the different icons around here for changing which work plane face we want to look at. As we start to define our parametric sketch we will see the commands appear in the command window here. Well I'm going to start to create an example of a basic door and I'm going to therefore start with a panel. So we have the command here to create a panel and this will obviously give us options of where we want to have the datum on our part whether we want a global offset of the geometries away from zero point for example I might be wanting to trim all the way around my component and therefore I know I've put it up against the stops of my machine and that's at zero zero so I might want to trim two mil all the way around it so I might enter two in X and Y. We have our values here for our panel size I'm just going to make mine thicker 
and then say OK. And this has created a basic geometry for us. Once we have some geometries created, I'm able to click the Run window and it will, in the background, create the parametric from the parametric sketch it will create the geometries. This is what we call a modeless window. We're actually able to interact with the AlphaCam drawing whilst the parametric sketch dialog is still open. So I can add my bits in and test as I go along. Well, what I actually want to do is I want to work with some machining styles and in my machining styles they're attributed to user layers so I actually want my features to be going on applicable user layers so what I shall do here is want this panel edge to be on a user layer so I can machine around it well we have the command here for setting an active user layer but we need to specify these commands before we create the geometries so I need to now come to here and if I right click on this option I get options to obviously edit it, cut it if I wanted to paste it somewhere else or simply delete it but what I want to do is insert before it a layer. So this now brings up the set layer dialog. Well I don't have any user layers here I could type in the name of what I wanted but the problem with that being is it's, if I've attributed a machining style to set user layer names I need to make sure I get those layer names exactly correct so it makes sense to obviously import the layers we get the options here to import the layers from an active drawing from a saved drawing or from a template well I'm going to import them from my current drawing but at the moment I don't have any user layers active in it so I'm just going to go and activate those so once again the window is modeless I don't need to close it to go and do this I'm going to go to my machining styles tab find my machining style that I'll be applying to my door and then I can click on this and go create layers for style this has now created my user layers so I can now import these into my parametric sketch so I'm going to edit this import the layers from the active drawing and pick door size and just to make it easier to distinguish from different items within the drawing I'm going to change the color on this. So we say OK and it's now drawn this in a different color. We'd also because we want to machine around this set the tool direction prior to the panel definition as well. So let's insert tool directions and let's pick clockwise around the outside of the part and we'll make the start point for the outside the end of the longest edge so I can say OK to that layers tool directions and geometry Z levels all remain modal for any geometries created afterwards so if you obviously want different levels then you need to repick the command and set the new user layer the new Z level or the new tool direction I'm now going to create what will be an aperture in the top so we're still going to go now and specify that we want to work on our top work plane so we can see it set the work plane to the top let's create a new user layer or an active user layer we're going to pick aperture and then say OK to that and we're now going to also specify geometry Z level so my geometry Z levels the top will be at zero because it's on the work plane and the bottom will be minus the thickness we say OK to that and we also want to set our tool directions on this so with our tool direction to close geometry so let's go counterclockwise on the inside and the start point for inside let's say the middle of the longest edge I say OK to that and now let's go create a geometry to work to so I'm going to create a rectangle and where is the center in X so all of these features as you can see by the icons that they're always positioned about their center point so the center in X will be the I want a distance from the top so let's go and create a new variable cancel a command new variable aperture from top and let's set a value of 400 in that okay so let's go back and create a rectangle and the center 
in X will be the aperture from top. The center in Y will be the door width divided by two, so it's in the middle. The length of it will be 400. I'm making it a fixed size aperture. It's likely that you buy your glazing in at a fixed size, so the actual aperture sizes will generally be fixed. And I'm going to put a rotation on this of 45 degrees. I can click OK, see what that looks like. So what we have here is this is on this layer. Once again, if I want to edit this and pick a different color, just so it stands out from other geometries, it updates instantly. I'm just going to get rid of this drawing here and I can just run this now and test to see exactly how it looks. And I now know that if I change this value and update it, we'll see it move, get rid of what's in the screen, run it again and we get to see it's in its new position. We can also just check our tool directions are correct. We see we're now getting things on work planes so we can see we are obviously on the inside there and our tool direction there is on the outside. So that's some simple geometries on the top. What I want to do now is, is create something on the side. So let's create now a new work plane. So we're going to go onto the front face and we're going to create a new user layer and let's call that lock. Let's change the color of that and we're going to go for a new geometry Z level. We're going to make this a fixed value and the tool directions on this once again counterclockwise on the inside say OK to that and then we're going to create another rectangle the center in X so now this is all referenced the bottom left corner but what you have to now remember is that bottom left corner is on this horizontal face so the up value what would be the local Y is actually the global Z so I want my lock feature to be in the middle of this face so my center in X is going to be my length divided by 2 the center in Y will be my thickness divided by 2 it's going to be a fixed length of 150 and a width of 25 and I don't want any rotation on it so if I say OK to that, that now creates the feature Let's get rid of the drawing on screen again and just run this and we can see if I move the dialog out of the way that we now have our horizontal feature, our vertical features and they're all on the applicable work planes. So that is defining a very simple sketch. I can then go save as and save it to my series of either subfolders but AlphaCam will always look in the EPS folder for any parametric sketches. So I can call that door example. And save it. So if I now close that, get rid of what's on screen. And I can go to my run parametric sketch, pick my door example. It comes up with the parameters. So I can now come into here, edit these. click OK. Where do I want to insert it? I'm going to put this at the global zero position and there we have our door. Now I can go to my machining style and go apply to selected geometries all of them and it will machine those for me. So we get to see this is a very quick and effective way of creating geometry definitions to then allow us to create the geometries in a very fast and effective way and apply the machining styles accordingly. And we'll also see how this links to one of the other new features within AlphaCam 2016 R1, the file inserter, which will be covered in a later demonstration.